Jacob Sartorius is an enigma. Everyone who is active on the internet in 2016, 2017 probably knows about Jacob Sartorius and they probably have an opinion on him. Most people have pretty negative opinions of Jacob Sartorius. Most people's opinion came from thinking he was famous for nothing or that he was really cringy or he was taking advantage of girls for their money. And I can see where they're coming from, but I'm gonna address a lot of things. Even a BuzzFeed article wrote about Jacob Sartorius. And they even interviewed, I can't make this up, they interviewed an anti-Jacob teen. This anti-Jacob teen said, People like myself don't like Jacob Sartorius because he's famous for no reason whatsoever. He's been known to hate his fans, there's proof all over Twitter. And he said he just does what he does for money. His song Sweatshirt is a flop. His fans are odd. He's just doing it all wrong. I would like to rebuke this anti-Jacob teen. I think most social media influencers are famous for nothing. I don't think this is anything new. But before I start refuting all of her points, I want to talk about how he got famous in the first place. I think in 2015, he posted a vine and his very first vine was a copy pasta. <laughs> but at the time, he was 12 or 13, so I think he was being serious when he posted it. So the copy pasta that Jacob posted is the one that said, uh, that boy you punched in the hall today committed suicide a few minutes ago. The girl you called a slut in class, she's a virgin. You know, you get the point. It was a, it was a copy pasta for a while. From that first Vine, he gained like 40,000 followers, I think he said. 15 saw million it. people. They, yeah, 15 million people saw it. And he started making like random funny videos. You can look up a Jacob Sartorius Vine compilation anywhere on YouTube and you'll find one. Now watch me win. And on his Vine, he posted funny stuff or he posted things that were similar to Musical.ly's, but Musical.ly didn't exist yet. When he really took off was when Musical.ly was invented and he started making the Musical.ly's. He made a bunch of videos that teen girls liked because he would, he would bite his lip and act all hot. Baby girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you. Let me buy you a drink. And just they ate it up. I mean... I definitely see it because people used to compare me to Jacob Sartorius all the time and I'm hot so why wouldn't he be hot too? But anyways, Jacob's success skyrocketed after 2016-2017 even more. Maybe after the ABC rap for his song Sweatshirt. In case you don't know, Jacob Sartorius rapped the ABCs at I think a MAGCON. If you don't know what MAGCON is, it was a bunch of people who were similar to Jacob Sartorius that would meet their fans and the fans would pay money to meet them. As his success skyrocketed, so did the hate and people hated this kid after Sweatshirt was released. It was released in May 2016 and after that just, god, you couldn't, you couldn't go anywhere on the internet without hearing some shit about him. And honestly, I understand the hate. The song sucked and like we weren't his goal audience, you know? To be fair, a lot of the hate was really fucking funny. It was just weird because most of the time it was adults. Hella people made videos about him, like Christine Sidelko, Rice Gum, and there was this one guy, I don't know how old he was, but he was definitely at least four years older at the time of making the videos. Um, he made like a bunch of Jacob Sartorius exposed videos. I don't know what the incentive for that is, I guess views, but it was just fucking weird. The kid is 13. I don't know how to put into perspective how young 13 is if you're not above the age of like 15, but it was 13. I don't think I can imagine anyone letting that slide now. Like imagine if in 2021, the entire internet just like dogpiled onto a 13 year old. It wouldn't happen. People would just be like, ha, you're 13. Even Bad Baby got into a, a bit of a quarrel with him on Twitter, if you will. That was probably one of the better parts of it was it if when you read it, it's not that lighthearted, but I just thought it was funny. And they were both taking jabs at each other. And they're both around the same age, so I think it's fine. They're just they're just kids bullying each other on Twitter. <laughs> but some people did make serious claims against him, like the like the anti-Jacob teen said that he hated his fans. And I've seen the videos, in one of these videos, he's being like bombarded with fans 
and there's this one girl and she's like recording him trying to get him to say a few names and like say i love you and stuff and i'll just show you eileen eileen jamie eileen jamie daniela i'm so sorry i can't remember that what Hi, with you. okay yeah. Jacob. I mean, if you want to get a video of me saying, what's up? Okay. What's up? I'm not trying to speculate, but that girl didn't seem too happy to be there in the first place. So I feel like maybe she wasn't really a fan of Jacob Sartorius and maybe just trying to get a rise out of him. I don't think it's unreasonable. This was like at the peak of of his hate plus we don't even hold celebrities to these kind of standards like like huge celebrities we're we don't expect them to answer every person that addresses them on the street and we especially don't expect 13 year old celebrities to do that and another thing for this old christine sudelko video i found this video has 2.5 million views and mostly she's talking about MagCon, but she does talk about Jacob Sartorius at a couple of points in the video. And she calls Jacob manipulative for having like cringy relationship tweets. He would have these tweets that would be like, I love you, baby girl. He was 13. What? Why did we care so much? Because they know that they're pretending that they're in a relationship with just them. So here are some examples of that. Um, first of all, it's just lame. Second of all, it's total manipulation. I don't know about you, but when I was 13, I was I was definitely conscious of my surroundings, right? But I, I wasn't old enough to be like this cunning manipulation master that Christine Sadelko like kind of made him out to be. And people would believe like anything about this kid. There was this one tweet that was circulating, like the anti-Jacob, like the anti-Jacob teen said. It's these Twitter DMs where Jacob is talking about hating, hugging his fat and smelly fans. And I feel like if you've been on the internet for any amount of time, it's pretty clear that those screenshots are fake and people like took them seriously. I'm not imagining that they're, that they're obviously fake, right? Like that's not just me. And there's plenty of other accusations people have made about him, which is kind of ridiculous. He was 13. But I'm not going to go into every single controversy that he's had because that would just be too time consuming. And I think you get the point. People just made shit up about this kid for no reason. I don't really want to bother with it. <laughs> so let's get into his lovely, lovely music. It's all of me. People say his music was really bad but he was literally 13. And before you're like, oh, well, well, Billie Eilish released Ocean Eyes at 13, so why is she? I'm not saying Jacob is a musical prodigy. I'm just saying that he was really popular and it was probably a managerial decision for him to make music anyways so that he could capitalize off of his success. I think any manager in that situation would definitely try to find something to capitalize off of to make him money you know before he did make music he as i said he literally rapped the abcs on tour one two three A, B, C, D. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, o. and people got mad at him about rapping the abcs because they were like all oh, these little girls are paying money just to see him rap the abcs but then he produced music and then people were still mad because they were like oh well the music is bad so uh, I don't care. <laughs> you get the point, everyone hated this kid. But after the hate somewhat passed over and I'd say 2017, he started dating Millie Bobby Brown. You know, the Millie Bobby Brown that stars in one of the most watched Netflix series of all time. Yeah, that Millie Bobby Brown. As I'm sure you can guess, fans of Millie Bobby Brown did not take their relationship well. There was a whole new era of like, people hating Jacob Sartorius. Like, I don't have any screenshots of the comments because I think most of those posts are deleted now so I can't dig up the comments, but I was there and I remember how vicious these kids were towards this, all the, it doesn't make sense. But eventually Jacob and Millie broke up. And so obviously that made things a lot worse for Jacob after a little bit, but after a little bit, 
it was okay and he wasn't really getting as much hate anymore, but also his success wasn't doing too good. This was around mid-2018. Despite everyone like kind of forgetting about him like actively, I think he kind of stayed the internet's punching bag for a really long time. And oddly enough, I feel like people mentioned him and still mention him like a lot, like, but I don't think many people really keep up with him. I think you get the idea though. This child makes music and does cringy things that children do and then the internet hates the child for it. This happened for years and it still happens. If you see, I guarantee, if you see any mention of Jacob Sartorius anywhere on the internet, you will find somewhere in the comments something talking about sweatshirt or how he has a baby face or the nickname everyone had for him. Everyone will call him Saggy Titties because it's, his last name is Sartorius and it's apparently hard to pronounce. The point of this video is to say, I don't think we really know much about Jacob Sartorius. Despite him having been on the internet for just years, I don't think anyone knows like how he's doing. I'm just so curious about his mental state. I need to know if he was okay because it seemed like the entire world hated him when he was like just a kid and it seems like most people still kind of hate him. So I don't know how I would feel in that position. I think the combination of everyone hating you and also being ultra popular at a young age and then seeing those like numbers decline before you even hit 18 probably takes a huge toll on your mental health. He does occasionally come back at people when they're making jokes about him, like the bad baby situation. He also kind of comes back at people on his second TikTok account, like his spam. He made this video. <laughs> That's a good punishment if you ask me. Let's pretend I'm getting in trouble. Oh no, s sorry teacher. Damn. And this video. Girls nowadays be like, Jacob, let me wear your sweatshirt. Let me wear your sweatshirt. Hold on, right there. Stop. You're the same person that called me saggy titties. I'm not still mad or anything. But... Maybe he's not doing too terribly because in that second TikTok, he said that he wasn't still mad, so maybe he's fine. Maybe this video's for nothing. <laughs> it also can't hurt that he's kind of been making a comeback on this second account. Appropriately entitled, You Can't Wear My Sweatshirt, has been doing pretty well, and he usually gets a, at least, at least above 50,000 likes, but pretty often he'll get a video that has one or two million likes. Despite these rising numbers, it doesn't seem like the hate is rising. Hi, I'm editing and I'm a literal ghost, but I had to cut a part that made zero sense at all. Basically what I tried to say in that part was that he wasn't getting hate when the account first started, but then he revealed he smoked weed in December and then people started talking shit about him again. Oh, here, here comes Jacob Stoner Torius. And I think it kind of stopped around January, February. And from that point on, all of the top comments are positive. People are like, I, for the record, I still want your sweatshirt. Or why is he hot now? Or why is Jacob actually kind of funny? And honestly, most of these aren't really creative. You can go through that second account and all of them are basically the same comment. And I think the older comments are a lot funnier, even though they were like hateful. I thought they were hilarious because I'm not just gonna tell you how funny these comments are. I can show you. I was writing the script, it was like 6 a.m. And I wrote in the script that you need to know that I was dying laughing at those comments for like 10 minutes straight. At this point, Jacob is basically doing the same things that he did five years ago, but now he's getting praised for it. And you know what? Good for him. He deserves it. Jacob Sartorius is genuinely the ultimate underdog. You can't tell me I'm wrong because no one liked him. I was always rooting for him from day one for real for real. This is my Jacob Sartorius stan account now. Years ago, 11 year olds were the only people rooting for him. How could he not be the ultimate underdog? Honestly, some of his music isn't even bad. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't have much else to say. Um, while researching this video, <laughs> There's just so much Jacob Sartorius lore that I just can't fit into this video. There were a lot of unnecessary details that I really wanted to include, but I didn't think would really be necessary. So if you're interested in talking about them or hearing about these unnecessary details about Jacob Sartorius lore, 
then hop in my Discord and we can talk about Jacob Sartorius lore in the general chat. So, yeah, <laughs> later. <laughs>